And today, we're here in front of these historic iron gates on the campus of the College of the Holy Cross to think about the greats that once passed through here. Ted Williams hit his first home run as a member of the Boston Red Sox on the other side of these gates in 1939. Babe Ruth played trombone with the Holy Cross Band through these gates in 1934. It was Holy Cross alum Ron Perry who became the only college baseball player from New England to win a national championship in both basketball and baseball, just on the other side of these gates in the early 1950s. And today, we're doing this press conference in front of these gates so that we can imagine what this is going to look like in less than one month from now, on July 13th, when the Futures League All-Star Experience is here and the Worcester Bravehearts work with the College of the Holy Cross and Hanover Insurance to transform Fitton Avenue, directly behind me, into a pedestrian-only walkway for the Futures League All-Star Fan Fest. The Futures League All-Star Experience is going to bring dozens of the country's top baseball prospects here to the city of Worcester along with scouts from all 30 Major League Baseball teams. It's an honor for the Bravehearts to host this game, and it's an event that comes around only once every 10 years. We're going to have to alert the Highway Patrol to make sure that they're aware that there could be some baseballs deposited on the top of I-290. But it's part of the great pieces of all-star games and it's going to be a great piece of the Futures League all-star experience. The Fit and Av Fan Fest that's going to happen right here is going to include kids games, vendor booths, and live music. Live music on a main stage and that is courtesy of our friends at Quality Beverages in Auburn. And just yesterday we were able to confirm that Worcester resident and star of NBC's The Voice, Sam James, is slated to perform during the game in our Budweiser Party Zone, which you're gonna have an opportunity to see right after this press conference when we have lunch down there. Of course, nothing says summer baseball like fireworks after the game. And we're happy to announce a major post-game fireworks show thanks to the support of TD Bank. And those fireworks are going to launch from the football field, directly behind the TD Bank sign. Our national anthem at the All-Star Game is presented by Carr Financial Group here in Worcester. And thanks to Rich Carr and his team's generous support, we've decided to book somebody who really knows how to sing. His name is Rene Rancourt. You might know him from the Boston Bruins, and he will be here to sing the national anthem and sign autographs for fans afterwards. Of course, we can't even market an event like this without the guidance and support of the agencies who specialize in bringing visitors right here to our region. And for that, we're thankful to work with the Massachusetts Sports Office and Discover Central Massachusetts on some new advertising programs to promote the game. And to top it all off, Everyone loves free parking, right? It's no different here at the Futures League All-Star Experience. We have free parking for everybody, courtesy of Worcester County Memorial Park. And finally, one, one of the major reasons why we're here today, on behalf of the Worcester Bravehearts, I'd love to extend my sincere thanks to Tim Collins. Tim is one of Worcester's favorite sons. He grew up playing baseball for Worcester Technical High School, was part of an astounding team that compiled a record of 91 wins and five losses while he was here. He's gone on to achieve the ultimate success that kids on ball fields everywhere dream of, making it to the major leagues. He's a current member of the world champion Kansas City Royals, and while he's using this year a rehab from an injury, it's a benefit for us because he was able to join us here today and he's able to join us on July 13th 
for our all-star experience. This past year, this past week, we just had 25 guys drafted that had been on our league. Uh, the year before, we had 30. And we continually get guys signed after the draft as well as several other guys that are playing independent baseball. We always try to do find three things. One, a great ownership group. Two, a great facility. Greens, great ownership group. Great facility here, Hanover Insurance Park, Fit and Field. But the biggest thing, and you can never be successful in what we're trying to do in this business, is without the support of the city and the businesses around it. And I've seen nothing like this. All our teams work really hard with the communities and we get a lot of support. But by far, the city of Worcester has been the biggest supporters of the Bravehearts than any of our other teams in their cities. By far. This would not have happened if it wasn't for several chamber member businesses and organizations stepping up. Fred Epperger in Hanover saying, we are going to again recommit to uh, Hanover Park at Fit and Field. Father Burroughs in the College of the Holy Cross saying, yes, we want to partner with the city and the team. And what this means uh, in so many ways is uh, it's great baseball, it's great family uh, fun and a great experience, but there's also a significant economic impact. And on behalf of City Manager Augustus, uh, the Discover Central Massachusetts program and Destination Worcester, the Mayor Petty uh, and the Chamber of Commerce, hotels get filled restaurants. People come to Worcester, they come to the region and they have a very different experience than maybe is portrayed in some elements of the Boston media, except for Bob Lobel. Uh, he's always had a, a great regard. And, and, and this is going to be fun. I remember coming up here for Millbury High Champs when they were in the state championship and watching Kevin Hardigan hit one on the 290. So I'm, we're going to bring my daughters up to watch the next generation. I'd like to thank everybody that has um, made this possible. And um, as you can see, the events in July are going to be unbelievable so um, I'm extremely honored to have my first bobblehead um, and I'm even more honored to be wearing my Worcester Tech jersey um, that bobblehead it definitely will go up in my man cave um, and the beard looks great on there I may say yeah. TJ Hartnett here with the former lieutenant governor of Massachusetts Tim Murray Tim what does it mean to be back in your hometown? What does this entire All-Star experience mean to you as a person? Well, you know, we're just going to put out my baseball tradition at so many different levels, whether it be the KC at bat, whether it be written in the year, whether it be the first no-hitter, uh, Tim Williams playing that uh, you know, picture uh, in the process uh, as a rookie, and just so many great baseball teams at different levels, Legion, Liverpool, and Jesse Burkett in the league make it to the World Series. So it's a phenomenal, great, uh, phenomenal baseball tradition and history here, and this is just going to add to it. Add to it that I think because of that history, there's been such a great response to the future Collegiate Baseball League coming to Worcester uh, three years ago, uh, and Charlie Creed and his family having a vision to you know, bring that to our city with the, with the commissioner uh, and the support of the College of Holy Cross and Hanover. Uh, you know, so it's just you know, from a family experience, from a just uh, baseball point of view, it's, it's outstanding, but there's a significant economic impact. Now you saw Tim Collins, uh, Kansas City Royal, and you watched him grow up. What does it mean to see him as a high school student and see him prosper as an MLB prospect now? Well, honest to God, you could see watching him play uh, as a high schooler at Worcester Technical High School. You know, whether he was pitching or in the field or batting, I mean, he was just tenacious. Uh, he was a competitor. Uh, you know, he gave it everything he had. Heart, bulldog tenacity, as I said. So you look, you knew what he was going to. You knew he was going to be successful, no matter what he did on the field or off. Whatever level he went to. Um, the people that know him, who played with him, I don't think are surprised. But he certainly turned heads, continues to do that. Won a World Series ring, and he's a contributor to the Kansas City Royals organization. So to have it back. Uh, and Bobble heads all and celebrate that tradition. It's a big part of it. It's just another, another uh, capstone. It'll be a great uh, day and weekend.